This is Samsung The Frame 2020, it's the small one. So this is the 32 inch model. Uh, I think they've been available in America and maybe some other countries for the last year or two, but we haven't had them in the UK yet. So I'm not sure what we're gonna get in the box, but we'll soon find out. So I'll just tip that box up, seeing as it's so small. So it, it seems to have a mini one connect box in the top. Tiny one, going back to a few years ago, those sort of small ones. Remote instruction book pack, again the old style one connect lead from previous models. That is the screen itself, which I'll just pop to the side. Right, so I've actually had to stop and come back to filming, but back to the instruction pack. Let's have a quick look what we've got. So, AA and AAA batteries. AAA for the standard remote, which is why AA for the smart remote. We'll look at those. What we've got in here, some different wall fixings, a couple of M4 screws, I'll find out what they're for. Maybe related to that sort of cable clamp there, that's for something else, probably one of the legs. Uh, wall fixings there. Figure 8 mains lead, right angled plug there, UK mains plug, low profile. Smart remote, I'll get a close up of in a moment. So our smart remote in white and a standard remote also in white. That's that there. We'll get close ups again of those. So just get into here. So we've got so these parts in this bag, they'll be attached to the TV. They're part of the wall mount that does come with the TV. Nice and simple, very low profile. So these will probably be closer to no gap than other no gap wall mounts. But we'll look at that. I'm gonna wall mount this TV as well, which I may as well include and make an ultra long video. So these two screws here will be screwed to the TV. These parts will be on the wall. So it should if that's on the back of the TV, slide into this on the wall and lock down into position. And then up and out again to lift off. Put those those there with that. Uh -huh. So it's back to like, I don't know how many people saw the 20 sort of 17 models. Uh, try and think off the top of my head, like MU8000s and so on. They had a small one connect box, so that's that lead from before. So it's thicker than the one connect leads on, a, say, a Q90 or Q95, should I say, Q95 and similar models to that. Um, one end for the TV, one end for the one connect. We'll have a look at the one connect box as well, which is here. So this is the One Connect box. I'm not sure how well that shows up, but HDMI 1 there. HDMI 2 is audio return channel. That's the One Connect lead input there. So attaches to there. Other end to the TV. Box is a bit loose in there, which is a bit worrying, but I'll ignore that. Figure 8 mains input. So it's just mains into this box, and then it will travel up the lead into the television. Digital optical audio out there, USBs, what are they both, oh no, half amp USB and a one amp USB, uh, indicated for a hard drive. I may as well give dimensions quickly. So 21 centimeters or eight and a quarter inches in width. The depth of it, which doesn't include the plugs in, is nine centimeters. So that's just over three and a half inches there. Thickness wise, three centimeters, 
just over one and a quarter inches, 15 centimeters, 15 and a half or six inches with the leads in. Okay, so standard remote there first, so like the normal ones, power on and off, source button, channel numbers, volume up and down, channels up and down, mute, Netflix, Prime, Quick Access, Rakuten, Home button for anything else, Guide, Cursor Arrows, Enter, Return Exit, yeah, Fast Forward, Play, Pause and Rewind buttons there as well, Settings, that's Quick to your settings there, turn it over, AAA batteries in there. So smart remote there, so instead of the power button, because when you turn this off it goes onto your artwork, which we'll look at, voice command button, channel number inputs or coloured button inputs and whatever else, cursor arrows and enter, back home, playing pause, if you're playing pause you can use your left and right for fast forward and rewind and so on, or skip forwards backwards, rocks down, up, in for mute and channels up and down or in for guide, Again, Netflix, Prime and Rakuten quick access videos. Turn it over, he says. And you can just see in there, that's where your AA batteries go. Okay, so this is looking at the back of the TV. That's the bottom of the TV. Top is here. You can see in here, we've got pedestal feet. So they're nice and neatly attached in the back. And they do just pull out and go back in for storage which I'll be putting them back in after this, but I thought I'd show it on them. I don't know how we get them back, we'll figure that out. So, I can see there's hooks in there. If they show up, hooks sort of there, and a hole, through hole there for the screw. And I can see in here, threaded portion and a location. And two, so if you're doing your TV as portrait, just bring it into shot. You can have those feet there for portrait mode or they will come out. Says we can stand it up. So what I'll do, I'm not going to screw them in for now because I'm going to wall mount it, but I'll show it stood up portrait and landscape. So as the feet are there, it's landscape as you would to watch TV. I imagine if it's portrait, you'd be using it for displaying pictures and so on mainly. Uh, while we're looking at the back there, we can see where the one connect cable goes into that socket there. And the only downside I think on this is the aerial it doesn't go into the one connect, it goes direct to the TV. The downside I can see being that if it's on the wall, these things here on the wall, it's such a small gap, your cable's got to come out of here. So if you did have a hole with your cables coming out the wall, you really need to position your hole so it's straight into this well here and into the socket, which could be a bit tricky because obviously you can't have excess cable behind unless you space these off the TV. Okay, so that is the TV there if we're in focus in a landscape mode. And you can just see those pedestal feet at the bottom. They are quite wide, so I'll put some dimensions in the description. Come to the back. That's it from the top and the back there. Okay, so looking at the TV again now, I've switched the pedestal feet, so that is it in portrait mode. So you can also wall mount that in portrait mode, but I don't think you can watch TV like that, it'd just be picture viewing only. Or your pictures and videos, I suppose if you take a lot of videos with your phone in portrait mode, it probably wouldn't be bad. Let's just get a close up there of those feet. So you can see where I've switched the feet there. Put the pedestal feet back on the back of the TV because I'm not using those. Going to use the wall mount, so we've got these two sort of screws here. I'm going to wind into there, one and the other there. Okay, so we've got these plates that are going on the wall. So these two bits are going to be screwed to the wall, marked left and right, and it's going to get, guess it's going to be left and right as you look at it. So it's going to be like so, and that one 
Uh, that's the template also supplied that was lurking about in the box. So we can see here, that's going to be the top corner and top corner there for the way I'm mounting it. Which you can see lines up like so. So all we've got to do is put the holes in the wall there and attach these metal plates. And you can just feel it under there. So landscape those two, portrait those two. Right, so I have my wall marked. I know where I want the top and centre to be, which it will be here, the top corners, left and right, if I'm not blocking it. Centre, obviously there, where that arrow is, so I've got to get a level across here, I suppose. One way you can do it, you could just sort of stab these holes so you've got your left and right position. There, oh, there, that's on a join. There, and there. Then, with my spirit level, but it out. It's not a bad guess about a level, so I'll just draw a level line across there. dark surface and hope I can see it afterwards and it just continues on a touch okay so typically that probably doesn't show up on camera but I've got a hole there 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 and there start that one off So one, two, fast forward this bit. Okay, I'm just going to put a level on those individually before I knit them up. That's it, check with level there. Okay, so left and right is shown. I've got my one connect and aerial lead in there, the only cables to the TV. Then we've got a two man lift for this tiny TV, so it'll be me on my own. I suppose it'll be easier while I've got it here. I'm just going to plug my cables in as well if it allows me to. So, aerial in, one connect lead in. Try again. And that is it. Because of the way that bracket's designed, you can see that that sort of swings about if I get my fat head out of the way. That's pretty cool. So, spirit level on the top. About there. It's bang on. Okay, so a quick close up of that on the wall again there. I'll just get it from the side. So you can see it's sticking out a bit at the bottom, that's due to the aerial cable. So obviously if it's coming out of a wall, you need to recess something in the wall or space it out at the top. Hand marks on the top, I'll scrub off in a moment. It's pretty cool, pretty impressive. And that's it in a relation to a 49 next to it. So you can see the size difference, 32, but it's ideal for somebody who wants it in a dining room discrete display and art but we'll look at the art and the other features in a moment right so everything connected turn it on oh, turn all the tvs on.
Okay, so if you're signing with your Samsung account, you can use Bixby. If you have an Amazon account, you can go for Alexa, but I shall choose later. So I've got both of those, but I'm going to go Aerial first, connect. That's tuning in in the background, so we'll cut video and skip this bit because it takes a while. Okay, so it's finished, it's tuning, and I have missed the region select, which is a bit naughty. Oh, no, there we go. So primary region, England. Secondary, pick the one your aerial's facing. Mine is Yorkshire. Close. Next. So it's got my wireless there, terrestrial channels. I'll identify the skybox as well in a moment. Faster way to link your apps there, so you can link it to your Amazon Prime as well. It'll give you a code to link it through to your phone app and so on, so you don't have to sign in with email and password. We'll skip for now. Okay, so you can quickly add some apps there, but you can go to the App Store later and get those. So I'll say done. The noisy motorbike's gone past, so yes to enjoy the Smart Hub. Uh, tap to view, so smart things on your phone using an NFC, tap the side of your TV and you can quickly do things with the smart things app, make your own collages, artwork, use your phone to turn the TV on and so on. So I'll say next. Okay, so volume and channels. Great. Okay, so this is terrestrial TV at the moment. Through the aerial on a HD free view channel. So I'm just going to turn the volume up. Coming on our next area of low pressure. So initially starting as showers on Saturday, but by the end of the day, it looks like we'll see heavier rain spilling back into probably Northern Ireland, more so Scotland. Whilst elsewhere, Eastern Scotland, much of England and Wales largely dry, feeling warm with the light winds. And then as we change our wind direction to more of a southerly for Sunday, We'll see it warming up again. Our first pulse of rain clears away Saturday night, so quite a wet night and potentially some more rain for the far wow. northwest then into Sunday. But by that stage, 24 in the south. Fantastic for my bike ride on Sunday. I'm here at this hospital where they're already experiencing the benefits of AI. This is seriously cutting. Okay, so the sound's actually not bad, it's clear enough. For a 32, it's 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 sufficient. Obviously, you can add a sound bar to this as well. It's convenient having that remote one connect box to connect your sound bar to, so there aren't more wires going to the television. But I'm going to hit the art mode button. Oh, turned every other TV on. Okay, so we can see that's the first bit of pre-installed art there. So I know you can subscribe and get more artwork. It's now downloading content, so we'll. We'll allow it to do that and I'll cut video while it does it. Okay, so art store. You can see there you can actually buy some, but you can use your own photos. And so myself, I, I probably use some of the free pre-installed stuff because I'm quite tight and I would then go and download my own. I would use my own photos as well, make my own collages. The different settings there for brightness, sleep after so long, night mode. So I guess if no light's detected in the room because you've switched the light off, it will turn the TV off. So that's quite a nice feature as well. Sleep after so long, sleep timer. So can we get something to look at? Okay, that's a preview of another piece of art. It's to other people's taste. Yeah. Pretty cool. Like I say, you can add your own artwork as well. You can also sub subscribe to certain galleries to get their artwork. The Wave. Can we have a preview? Okay, so you can see the preview bar in and out, so at least you can have a look, but some quite nice artwork on there and you can go through uh, and argue with your partner which one you both like. Obviously, the bit I'll add later is the magnetic frame that goes around here, so we should have a magnetic frame, clips around. Can't actually get them yet for this 32 inch model, 
because uh, they're new in the UK. I think they're available or have been available in the US and other countries for quite a while. Anything else? Quick look at one more. There we go. So that is in standby mode as I've turned off the TV. So if I was to turn it back on and turn on all the other TVs as well, let's see what we can do. Okay, so pressing the power button again brings the TV on. If I hold down the power button for three seconds, turns it off altogether. But I'm going to turn it back on, see if we've got a retail demo there. So it's, it's actually a really good picture on Freeview HD. I don't know how much that shows up, but that's on standard pitch settings straight out of the box. So you can see we've got, let's have a quick look at the smart hub. So settings, source and imports, art mode, home, Samsung TV plus some stream content, live TV, which is on in the background now, Netflix, Prime and iPlayer there. BBC iPlayer, iTV, Rakuten, YouTube, 4, Apple TV, Gallery, Internet Browser there, Connect the Wireless Keyboard and so on. Just going to see if we've got an inbuilt retail demo that AdRev can stick me for again. That took the majority of 2019 arrivals in their uh, in their shield. Now the United Nations Refugee Agency, the UNHCR, has previously okay, warned that quick this look at YouTube to try my own demo. The Greek government to move asylum seekers. Oh. Include the likes of Deli Ali, Jumin Song, and Toby Alderfield to their starting 11. Juventus versus Tottenham Hotspur, a fixture many on in his kind of area. Jumin Song for Spurs. And can't sneak it in. In terms of form from that moment on. It's a match of its great ball, and he directed it to the front corner. And those two work it again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off, and Buka makes a fine save. He's gathered in by Eric Lamella. Trey Parrott today on the first attempt. But Lamella is there to beat Buka. Spurs have been the better team, and on the half hour, they lead Juventus. The Cars. Cars.
so I'm just going to go back to live TV. It says if I go the right way. Yesterday, Boris Johnson's predecessor, Theresa May, condemned this plan. Today, we've heard from another former Prime Minister, Sir John Major. He was in charge when the peace process began in Northern Ireland. He's put out this statement. Our signature on any treaty or agreement has been sacrosanct. If we lose our reputation for honouring the promises we make, we will have lost something beyond price that may never be regained. OK, so I'm going to call that it. A nice, good quality 32 inch that is multi-purpose, I suppose. Good for watching TV and you can display your art on there as well. Clip your different coloured frames on, whether it's beige or dark wood or white. Uh, and it'll look nice and discreet. If you're not a massive TV person, you can have that on the wall looking like a piece of art. And people will never know, or will they?